Amani channel with another video podcast. I've been making more of these lately. Um, I've really been trying to share uh, more of my information, uh, share some of my expertise in video production as well as social media with uh, the community because I think that's really the power of you know being able to communicate directly to, to individuals that we're all able to share our expertise whether it be in whatever field that you're an expert in and that term expert is used loosely um you know a lot of people claim to be experts i really consider myself a specialist or a practitioner especially when we're talking about social media i mean video production i, I have a, a good amount of experience in it though um so for those of you who are just tuning in um my background is really in broadcast, broadcasting, both radio and TV, um, going back to like, what, 1993, probably, um, when I was a student at the College of San Mateo, a community college in the Bay Area, San Francisco. Uh, my first experience was doing like rip and read news copy at KCS, KCSM, which is the FM jazz station at KCSM. And then I um, started, you know, producing PSAs and started producing a TV show. Then I transferred to the University of Florida and kept working TV, radio, um, you know, doing news primarily. And then after school, I got a job in D.C. working at a TV station, moved to Tampa to work as a news reporter and blah, blah, blah. So it's really, um, you know, I've been, been in a broadcast communications for a number of years now. And, you know, my interest in, in the broadcast media uh, probably is my dad has a lot to do with it um, indirectly. But, you know, growing up, um, I'm from a small city called East Palo Alto, California. And I was really fascinated with how um, the news media always covered my city um, whenever there was a tragedy, whenever there was crime, whenever there was unrest or, you know, negative things going on. Um, you know, like most urban uh, areas, especially in the 90s and the late 80s, um, you know, urban areas had a lot of issues, especially with drugs and, and things like that. And so the news media was always out there. And, uh, you know, both my brother and I uh, paid attention to it because, you know, both of our parents were, were, you know, educated. My dad went to UCLA Law School. My mom went to Stanford. But we were raised in an urban area like East Palo Alto, which was a, a serious uh, situation back then. There was always something going down. And it didn't always seem accurate, um, you know, because there were positive things going on as well. And so what I found to be very empowering is just being able to share stories um, firsthand uh, with the audience via my blog, via video, via social media. Um, you know, I, I think that, you know, we need a little bit of everything these days because especially for, for traditional media, which especially on the TV side is really struggling to, to maintain their audience um, because there's so many other outlets now. The news is is almost even more so um, in some situations uh, sensationalized, um, you know, entertainment, infotainment, whatever you want to call it. And, you know, what will happen to traditional journalism? I think it's in a state of transition right now. It's transforming. And, you know, what's very empowering, like I said, is the fact that we all now can share our information, share what we know. And I think that everyone, you know, has something to share in this space. And if you've been watching, if you have any questions about the media, about news, about you know, how to produce video, how to produce quality videos, because I think there is an issue with that people need to know. Um, please give me a call um, and ask me a question on Twitter. Um, I'm not hard to find. I'm on channel, the Urban Reporter, at Urban Reporter is the Twitter handle or at Visual Eye Media. And uh, just, you know, sharing a few thoughts. You know, we got to keep these things short because I know your attention spans are short because everybody's clicking on these links and these tweets. Um, so that's all I have to say right now. But you'll be seeing more content from me. I'm trying to answer your questions, though. So if you have any sort of questions, please feel free to give me a shout. All right. Appreciate your time. Sincerely, I do appreciate you. And thank you so much for tuning in. Until the next one. Due to the mature theme of this movie, viewer discretion is advised. Don't want to be the one they say caught another straight. Where do you ever see black males overpaid? Now that I edit, you have envy on the airwaves. How many brothers get it standing in a driveway? Where I was raised, don't matter if the cops rate modern day slaves in this hell that they boss made. Spare clips blaze, they're amazed if you read past Tupac's age. Graduate 12th grade to earn an MA. To 
determined to bleed And you would think black folks ain't hurt They were free long as the bottom continues to feed Corporate greed boycott MTV It's important to read You better get up to speed with the blessed MC Don't even hit up Celine opposite OG I'm not gangsta will to protect my seat Bring the hook, get ready for the next 16 Let's do it automatic straps, my wall wraps,